Hey there, Cursor Coders. Welcome to the ultimate guide for supercharging your Cursor IDE with the best model context protocol or MCP servers in 2025. If you're new to Cursor, it's an AI empowered coding tool that uses its composer agent to help you write, debug, and automate code faster. MCP servers are like plugins that connect Cursor to live data, APIs, and tools, making your coding workflow smoother and smart. Think of them as super smart assistants that fetch information, automate tasks, or organize your projects right inside Cursor. In this video, we're counting down the top MCP servers that will transform your cursor experience. Whether you're a beginner writing your first React app or a pro managing massive projects, these servers have something for you, even if you're new to coding. We'll wrap up with a comparison to help you pick the perfect server. Ready to make your coding life epic? Let's dive in. Let's kick things off with Context 7 MCP Server, your guide to perfect code documentation. In simple terms, Context 7 is like a super smart librarian for Cursor. It grabs the latest coding instructions and examples for tools like React, Next.js, or Node.js, so you don't have to search Google or Stack Overflow. Context 7 connects Cursor's composer agent to trusted sources like NPM, GitHub and Mozilla Developer Network, fetching up-to-date documentation for libraries like React 18.3, Next, GS14, or Node.js20. It checks your project setup to ensure you get accurate version-specific answers, avoiding outdated advice that can mess up your code. It's a favorite for developers who want to stay focused in cursor without switching tabs. Context 7 also handles multiple libraries at once, so you can ask for React and Node.js help in one go, saving you time. Also, Context 7 is all about documentation, so it won't help with things like scraping websites or automating tasks. Let's get Context 7 set up in Cursor, which takes about five to 10 minutes. All right, let's get you set up. It's super easy. First, head over to the Smithery website, click into Context 7, and on the right, you'll see the Install panel. Now tap on Auto, then Cursor. You'll see a terminal command pop up, just copy that. Open up Cursor, go to the terminal panel, paste the command, and boom, your Context 7 MCP is all set up. Now that Context 7 is installed, let's see what it can do. Imagine you're building a React app and need to create a tool that tracks the size of the browser window. You tell Cursor to use Context 7 to fetch the latest React documentation for a feature called Use Effect and write the code. In just 20 seconds, Context 7 grabs the right docs and gives you code that tracks the windows. This creates a tool to track the browser window size using the latest React guidelines. Context 7 save 30 minutes by getting it right the first time. Next up, Browser-based MCP, your web automation sidekick. In simple terms, Browser-based lets Cursor control a web browser in the cloud to grab data from websites like product prices or news or test how web pages work, all without you opening a browser yourself. Browser-based runs invisible browsers, like a hidden version of Chrome, letting Cursor scrape websites, test buttons, or automate tasks. It's super fast grabbing data in less than one second and it switches between proxy servers to avoid getting blocked. The free tier gives you 100 requests a day, which is great for small tasks. However, browser base needs an API key and the free tier's 100 request limit can run out fast if you're doing a lot of scraping. You'll need to pay for premium plans. Let's set up browser base in cursor. Back in Smithery, just search for browser base. Same deal, go to the install panel, hit Alto, then cursor again. This time, it'll ask you for an API key and a project ID. No worries, just hop over to the browser base website, copy both of those and paste them back into Smithery. Then click connect and yep, another command will show up. Copy that, jump back to cursor, paste it into the terminal and you're good to go. With browser-based setup, let's see it in action. Imagine you're building an app to track product prices on an e-commerce site. You tell Cursor to use BrowserBase to grab prices from a website, and it gives you code that collects price data in eight seconds. BrowserBase is perfect for web developers building tools like price trackers or testing website features. Head to BrowserBase Dev to automate your web tasks. Firecrawl MCP Server, your website data grabber. In simple terms, Firecrawl grabs text, images, or data from websites and organizes it into neat formats like lists or tables for Cursor to use in your projects. 
This open source server can scan websites at 100 pages per minute, turning data into formats like JSON or Markdown. You can choose how deep it scans or filters specific data, like just blog titles. With over 1,500 GitHub stars, it works smoothly with Cursor, making it great for research or content projects, but Firecrawl's setup needs Docker, which uses over one gigabyte of space and can slow down older computers. Let's install Firecrawl in Cursor. Search for it in Smittery and follow the same steps. Go to the install panel, tap auto, then cursor. It'll ask for your API key. You'll find that on the Firecrawl website. Copy it, paste it back into Smithery. You'll get a terminal command, copy it. Open cursor, paste it in the terminal, and done. Firecrawl is now installed. Now let's see Firecrawl in action. Imagine you're building a marketing tool and need to find SEO keywords from a website. You tell Cursor to use Firecrawl to scan a site, and it gives you a list of keywords and their frequency in 12 seconds. Firecrawl is awesome for archivists, researchers, or anyone building data-driven apps. Visit Firecrawl Dev to start grabbing website data. It's last one. Let's get next console. This is one super simple. Open Cursor. Go to the marketplace and search for NX console. Click install, and that's it. Your NX MCP is installed automatically. You're all set up up and ready to roll. Now let's see NX in action. Checking how files in your project connect, you ask Cursor to use NKEX to create a map of your project structure, and it gives you a clear overview in seconds. NX is perfect for big projects with multiple apps or libraries, but it's a bit much for small scripts. Visit NXDevev to take control of your mono repos. So which MCP server is right for you? Let's compare them. Context7 is your go-to for finding documentation fast perfect for JavaScript libraries like React and super beginner friendly. Browser base shines at grabbing web data or testing websites, but you'll need to manage its API key and request limits. Firecrawl is great for collecting website data for research or content creation. NX is the best for huge projects, but it has a steep learning curve. That's the top MCP servers to level up your cursor IDE in 2025. All links, setup guides, GitHub repos, and community discords are in the description. Keep coding like a legend, and I'll catch you in the next video.